Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we are going to be adding some full flakes to a vinyl wrap. I know we have done lots of vinyl wraps in the past but I still get lots of questions about them and there's just so much that you can do with these pattern vinyls. So let's just jump right in. Now I'm using another vinyl from my gracefully created Brittany Bundle volume 3 number four is coming soon so be on the lookout for that i just simply use my nail to mark off where i want to cut my vinyl and usually that is about an eighth of an inch away from the bottom and the top rim of my tumbler the tumbler i'm using is a 24 plump from the steel magnolia i cut off about a quarter inch of the backing so that i can press this down on the tumbler when i have it lined up perfectly and as you can see, I'm leaving a little bit of stainless at the top. That way, when I do sand later on, I'm not going to damage any of my vinyl. Once I have the beginning and end pieces of my vinyl lined up at the top, I press down that little sticky piece. I will lay it flat onto the table. And you can just use your fingers or you can take a rag and rub your vinyl on. And again, the vinyl that I'm using is from Gracefully Created. All of her vinyl is matte and removable. She knows the struggle of using vinyls, so she wanted to make it removable so that if there is any air, there's plenty of room for it. You can just pull it right off of your tumbler and start all over, and it's not going to leave any sort of residue behind. Now, I have done so many of these. I usually just take my craft knife and cut straight down the tumbler. But just in case you sort of struggle at getting those lines straight, it took me quite a while to get to the point to where I actually cut mine straight without taping it off. Um, I just take some masking tape or painter's tape and make a straight line and then take your craft blade and cut right along the edge of your tape. Now I did want to mention if you still struggle with getting those straight lines on the top and bottom rims, now I did want to mention if you're still struggling with those top and bottom rims, my friend over at Cami Page Boutique has created some amazing tools to help you get those perfect lines. I'll drop her shop link down below for y'all as well as a discount code to save you some money on her products. Now make sure that your vinyl is pressed down really well, especially that the top and bottom rim and down your seam. And then we're going to take some painters or masking tape, tape off just a hair below the bottom seam of your vinyl. And then you can take some either cling wrap or you can do what I'm doing and flip the backing of the vinyl around, wrap it around your tumbler and tape that on. And that helps protect the rest of your cup without using any additional products. To apply our full flakes to the tumbler, I'm going to be using my favorite glitter glue from the Crystal Light Company. The brush strokes that you see me applying here were way too thin and I did have to go back and reapply just so I get a little bit of a thicker base so it would be a little bit more tacky for me to apply my full flakes. You can also use a spray adhesive, tack it, or even a glue stick that will dry clear. I've just been pretty obsessed with this glitter glue lately, and it's what I had on hand. There's no special rhyme or reason to where I'm applying my brush strokes. You can coat your entire cup if that is better for you so that you can decide later where you want your strokes to go. It was hard for me to see where I Put this of course because the glue dries clear <laughs> so it probably would have honestly been better if i just did the whole cup and then you know applied my full flakes wherever i wanted but you know that's what worked in my head for that moment the flakes that we are using are the fall full flakes from pdb creative studio this was an item that come in her art box and Holy moly, y'all, if y'all have not got one of her art boxes before, you have seriously missed out and got to get one next time that she releases them. Now, this is a fall mix, so there's some deep reds and purples in here. All I'm going to do is dump it out and pick out the copper, rose gold, and gold flakes that I want to use on this cup. 
At this time, this particular one is available on her website along with individual colors. So if you don't want the mix, you can snag some individual full flakes in the colors of your choice. So as you see, I'm just sort of dabbing these on and then rubbing it in because I want it to be really flat to the tumbler. I don't want any little pieces sticking up and I want it to appear as if it was brushed on instead of just laying on the surface. Now this did take me a while, so I'm gonna skip through a couple of parts. I'm so particular about the placement of things on my cups and for something to be out of place and meant to be that way, it kind of drives me a little crazy and I constantly go back and back and back and feel like I need to add more and more. <laughs> but I really liked how it turned out in the end, so it was worth the extra time. I'm gonna let this play through for y'all just so you can see my placement and how I lay all of these fools down. Once I was happy with my foils, I took my hand and just rubbed all over the cup to make sure that everything was laid nice and flat. And because I touched this cup so much and the foils create a really slick surface, I used Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat and gave this one good clear coat so that we can cover up any oils or slick surfaces that may be on our cup. Again, this is a 24 plump from the Steel Magnolia, and I took about 15 milliliters of a little extra ink epoxy and applied that to the cup. The reason that I only used about 15 milliliters is because my goal here is just to cover the surface because we are going to apply glitter and I don't want that glitter to spread out or move around once I apply it. Uh, after I do my epoxy, I went over with my torch and I allowed this to spin for about 30 minutes before I come in with my glitter. The glitter that we are using is Gold Digger, also from PDB Creative Studios. I have turned my turner off so it's not moving around too much and I'm pretty much going to go back into where I applied the fools and just create little streaks of glitter. This just adds a little sparkle, of course, and a little bit of dimension to our design. Now, once I added my glitter, I allowed that to spin for about three hours. A little extra dries really quickly, as I have mentioned in my prior tutorials. So I patted the glitter down to make sure that it was really stuck and it wasn't going to move when I come in with my next layer of epoxy and just lightly brushed any excess off. And then I applied a nice 20 milliliter layer of epoxy. Once that was dry, then I sanded my top and bottom rims to prepare it for my decal and final coats. I found this really cute You Are My Sunshine file on Creative Fabrica. I will list the link down below for y'all. You Are My Sunshine is one of my daughter's favorite songs as well as Sunflowers. So it just sort of spoke to my heart and I couldn't help to put that on this cup. I'm using my favorite textured vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. This is the copper version. And I created a black offset of 0.035 in Cricut Design Space. Having an offset really helps allow your decal to stand out from the tumbler design. Most of my cups, I would say 95% of them have an offset because of that reason. Once I have my decal layered, I'm going to peel that off, stand my tumbler straight up, and I usually get eye level with it just to make sure that it is lined up perfectly. And then I'm going to place my decal over the seam of that vinyl that is still visible underneath the fools. 
Then once I had my decal laced, I applied two final layers of a little extra ink epoxy to seal in my decals really well, and this tumbler was complete. I really love how this turned out. Sunflowers are my favorite, so I was just so pulled to use this pattern. But really, this was just to show y'all how to apply the fools to the tumbler, how to get this technique, not particularly the design, and you can apply this to any pattern vinyl or background that you like. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because that really helps us out. As always, everything that we used in this tutorial will be down in the description box below along with some discount codes to help y'all save some money. I'm so excited to announce that we will be launching a website soon for all of our ready to ship tumblers. So join our Facebook group or follow us on Instagram for updates on release date. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel tap the little bell in the corner to be notified anytime a new tutorial drops. Thank you all so much and we'll see you next time.